this video I'm going to show you how to use the free and open source file archival tool called 7-Zip. Uh, it's available at 7-Zip.org. So go to the download page. I want the MSI for the installer and I'm running Windows 32-bit so this is the one I choose. I'll save the file and run it. And this is the uh, setup wizard. It's released under a couple different licenses. I accept the terms. Uh, default is fine. Okay, so how to use 7-Zip. Okay, 7-Zip is used to compress files. Uh, for storage or for email, uh, it makes you can combine a bunch of files into one file and then compress them. That's the main uh, idea behind uh, file archival. So I have a folder full of text files right here. It's uh, we can go to properties and see that it's uh, 40 around 42 megabytes. So um, We've installed 7-Zip, so if we right-click on it and go to 7-Zip and then add to archive, we'll get a bunch of options. 7-Zip uh, can archive in three different formats. Uh, the main formats you're going to be looking at are 7-Z and Zip. You can ignore TAR for now. Okay, so let's look at... Um, how we want to archive this and the different uh, file sizes that we get depending on the compression level. Okay, so store isn't going to compress the files at all. The fastest is going to be the fastest, but we'll probably compress the files the least, and then you have ultra compression, which is going to be slow. So we'll do the 7Z format at the fastest uh, compression level, and you can pretty much ignore the rest of these uh, options right now. So let's look at this. Okay. Go to properties. Okay, using the fastest method, it compressed all those files down to 3.8 megabytes. Now, let's add to archive, and let's do the ultra compression, and see how long it takes. As you can see, it's taking much longer. Uh, the last one completed in less than five seconds. This one is estimating to take a minute. And I'm not sure if we're going to get much better compression. Uh, there's a big trade-off when you go to the extremes of ultra compression, uh, but we'll see what what size we get. can also see the uh, open up a task manager here and see the that the processor is pegged out uh, doing this compression and this gives you the estimated compression ratio okay so this is the new text files dot uh, seven z Okay, now it's 2.7 megabytes. So we saved about a megabyte, but added a minute to our time. Uh, okay, so I've renamed the files. Uh, this is the fastest one. Uh, it's 3.8 megs. And the text files ultra is 2.7 megs. Now let's try the zip files. 
we'll change this to zip and change it to fastest and it is 4.8 now we'll do it again and change it to ultra. Now it's estimating that it's going to take over two minutes to do this in the ultra. So I'll pause the video while it works. Okay, so the zip file has finished and we can look at the properties here it's 3.7 megabytes so as you can see there's a big trade-off between compression and speed uh, it's definitely recommended just to leave it on the normal setting uh, that gives you the best uh, trade-off uh, there's some other parameters that you can mess with if you have really big uh, files that you need to archive, you can choose them to split them into bytes so they'll fit on CDs or DVDs. Uh, you can add encryption uh, and you can change the compression method. Uh, but if you don't know what you're doing, I would recommend leaving all of these as default. Um, so there's also a very simple way. You can just say uh, add the text files.zip in the little context menu without going into the this archive menu so I'll show you how that works so that's the fastest method of uh, archiving files you don't have to mess with all those parameters just go to 7-zip and add it to either the zip file or a, either a zip archive or a 7z archive um, and that's how to use 7-zip the free and open source file archival tool uh, if you have any questions leave me a comment